typically farmers find ways to do the best with what they have available to them. And so if we want to see water conservation in agriculture, we're going to have to give the farmers better tools. I've been a farmer here in, in the Harringen area for, since 1987, and sugarcane's been a large part of our, our operation. It's also one of the largest users of water in our irrigation district. And sugarcane uses approximately 40 inches of water on an annual basis. So you can see the, the importance of trying to conserve water in sugarcane and still be able to maintain a, uh, a crop. Polypipe is probably one of the primary ways of irrigating sugarcane within our irrigation district. Polypipe in itself is a water conservation method that will save anywhere from 25 to 30 percent of the irrigation water. But what we're trying to do with this demonstration is to take a surge valve and increase that savings possibly to 50 percent if we can do that. This is an example of double line drip irrigation. There's two lines of drip irrigation, one on each side of the tree. We run them simultaneously both lines simultaneously and we get the water on at the correct amount. We started these groves out on flood irrigation, but then in the uh, late 90s when the drought hit, we made the decision to uh, go to drip irrigation on this 86 acres. We use perhaps less than half the amount of water on a drip system as you would on a normal flood system. Instead of watering for 72 hours, we just water for 24. Really the water's being placed better and we don't have to put excessive water on and it's really helped our tree. You can see how, how healthy the trees look now. We're looking at a telemetry system that looks at some of the soil moisture monitoring that's going on inside the citrus root zone. See how much water is being taken up from, from the roots and when we need to irrigate. And they send information to the telemetry system that ends up sending a signal back to Jim Hoffman's office where he can look at the data in real time and then he can make decisions of when he needs to irrigate the trees. If you did not have some, some way to measure the amount of moisture in the soil and how fast it was being depleted, you might over apply water or you might under apply water. That's really one of the key components of a system is to have the, uh, uh, the monitoring system in place. We had a three inch rain event here a while back and less than 10 days later, this place needed water. You know, and the sensors told me that. We had half of the property being watered that afternoon. Another practice that we implement in the citrus industry is the use of narrow border flood irrigation. We form a raised bed on the side of the citrus tree and we do that between every citrus row where water can move down where the citrus tree roots are growing. The great thing about this, we found that we can save up to 35% water just by this simple management practice that can be implemented now. The citrus growers don't need to spend a lot of money to be able to do this type of irrigation management. You're always trying to refine your techniques and your application and trying to maximize the efficiency of the, the water and the inputs that you're using. The urbanization of, of the Rio Grande Valley has, has drastically affected the way we grow citrus. We're gonna to have to get by with less. The way the farmer utilizes his polypipe and gates and the amount of water that he runs down each row at a time and the amount of rows that he tries to irrigate at the same settings those things determine how much water he's actually using. It also is beneficial to them in their crop production, in their operations of their farm, and, and financially. 